Oh boy. There's a lot going on here. That gouging fire is gonna gouge my soul. It's a pretty interesting Pokemon. It's very tanky. That team in general is so tanky. Like this is gonna be the world's longest battle probably. They're gonna lead with it right away. I am literally gonna sit here and click Nasty Plot because I feel like I gotta get real beefy real quick. We're gonna Draining Kiss ourselves. We're gonna break our weakness policy. We're also gonna set up Nasty Plot in front of their faces. I'm also trying to pay attention to my speed tiers here. I hope that we outspeed the gouging fire, but it's possible that we don't. Okay, we do. Good. Great news. That's really, really good news. Brother has fire spin. I can out heal the fire spin damage though. Brother has fire spin and stealth rock. Uh, save me. They are going for the slowest game in the history of EGC. All right, they go for the burning bulwark. That's okay because we're going for for non-contact moves anyway. I'm curious to see how much I will do to Tinglu, if anything at all. Honestly, all things considered, that's a decent chunk. That helps me. You just gave me more. I can never not hit floral healing on myself. I have to just keep hitting that one move for the rest of the game. It's gonna be a Moongus, but you're not gonna appreciate a plus five. Look at that damage. Big damage there. They got a whole citrus left on them. This thing is gonna take eight hits to knock out, but it's fine because it's not doing much to us in return. Brother has whirlwind. I'm just gonna taunt this Amoongus. Problem solved, Amoongus is taunted. Battle was canceled. What even was that? Good afternoon, Pokemon Sports. I want to another VGC Battle Stadium Regulation F video bringing you a Comfey team. Okay, Comfey. We haven't seen it in quite some time. It's been a while, Comfey. Comfey was in Sword and Shield and was very commonly used because of triage. Tri triage making it so that every move that can heal has a plus three in priority. So that makes it the world's fastest draining kiss and the world's fastest floral healing that you've ever seen on the Comfy. Now you have access to Covert Cloak, so you can't even get fake outed. So you pretty much have, I don't want to say guaranteed turn one Comfy plus Moltres situation, but it's almost always guaranteed. On top of that, you also have access to the Dark Terror now so that you don't get taunted by Prankster Taunts. Anyway, on to the second little piece of this team. We got the Moltres with the weakness policy, Poison Terra, so that Flutter Mains don't hurt us at all. We're running Nasty Plot, Air Slash, Fiery Wrath. We're going to sit here, we're going to get to plus a bajillion, and we're going to hit Fiery Wrath. That is the goal of today's video, folks. Anyway, this team is from Bruno, who does have a YouTube channel. Make sure to link Bruno down below in the description. Send us a Pokesports love, because he's a big friend of the channel. Does help us out a lot when we need things for Pokemon Go, specifically for me. And also, when we need Pokemon, like putting a lot of these rental codes out, Bruno's always there for us. So make sure to check out his content. I think he's like at above 2k now. Something like that. He's catching up, guys. Let, let, if you want to join his side of the race and let him, let him catch up, then be my guest. Anyway. If you guys are excited to see what the heck's about to happen here with Comfey, hit the like button down below, subscribe to Pokesports if you haven't done so already. And with that said, let's get on to today's video. Brother, I don't even know where to start. There's a Heracross, a Bisharp, a Tinkaton, a Clawitzer, and a Meowskerado. I definitely want Comfey here. I also want Arcanine, just not in the lead. I think I'm just going to Moltres, Comfy, bring the Arcanine in the back, and then have my last Pokemon be... Iron Hands. That's the play here. I think that's the, that's the, that's the best play that I could possibly do. Who knows? Let's see how this game turns out, right? It's definitely an unorthodox team. Um, it definitely might be an in-game team for all I know, because there was a Meow Skirata there, and that Bisharp has not yet evolved. Maybe because Timmy here hasn't figured out he has to knock out other Bisharps. Get the Leader's Crest. Such a weird evolution, uh, requirement there. Alright, gonna lead with the Bisharp, maybe hoping I would lead with my Hisui and Arcanine, but nah, not today. No booster energy on that Iron Moth either. I think this is a pretty decent opportunity to just do the thing that we wanted to do. Gonna go for the Draining Kiss onto our Moltres. The... Do we Nasty Plot too? I'm feeling a little spicy. I think we Nasty Plot too. 
Oh, this is so aggressive. I'm going to do it. I'm doing it. We're going to go for the nasty plot. Nasty plot plus weakness policy here. And that still does way too much damage to me. That does a lot more damage than I expected to. This is definitely like a sludge wave plus iron head situation happening for my poor little comfy. I'm not looking forward to it. Oh, but we outspeed the whole thing? Nah. What EVs you got on that moth? Okay, I'm not down to half yet. And then Iron Head on my Moltres this time. This time. Thanks for the Berserk. Here's the stupid thing now. You guys ready for the stupid thing about this team? Is that everything that just happened, I just got Berserk. Here's a Floral Healing. I'll be right back up to full. And now I'm terrifying. Poison Terra. And now we start the kill train. Again, I know this team is weird and unorthodox. I can't, the Iron Moth doesn't even outspeed the Moltres. Yeah, fine. I get it. But it's fun seeing, though, right? It's fun doing, it's fun seeing. Let's see how much damage a Moltres can do to a potentially Eviolite. Um, Bisharp. And also, Iron Moth. Ooh, hold up. The Iron Moth has Helping Hand. You show me where there's Helping Hands on that Moth, and I'll be impressed. I don't see any hands. Doesn't matter. Let's go for the full healing, go right back up to m above half. Followed by the big fiery wrath. Big damage if that's Eviolite Bisharp. Dang. We just nearly knocked out a resisted Eviolite Bisharp. That is wild. What does that even do? I don't even know what move that is. What is retaliate? Everyone comment down below what retaliate is, please. I need to know. And I also need 12 people to tell them the exact same thing. But no more than 12. All right, well now we floral healing. And now we Fiery Wrath. And now we see what happens. <laughs> you could just keep this cycling. I, I used to love doing this in Sword and Shield, and it's just back now. So if this is your first time experiencing this combination, then I'm glad that I was the one to show it to you. Keep in mind that Fiery Wrath can, can flinch too. We just haven't done it yet. Heracross has Smart Strike and Comfy lives. <laughs> Comfy is like, hey, I don't care. Throw a bunch of super effective uh, moves at me. None of them are stabs? I don't care. Alright, let's just kiss this Meowth to get all of our HP back in the Fiery Wrath. And we'll call it a game there. Very weird game, but hey, it was just like a nice little... Splash game. It wasn't super hyper competitive like the first one. But it was a fun time here. We got to see the strat in action without anything stopping it. And it's Wrath. And we're gonna take a dub here. Like I said, if you like the comfy thing, save this rental. You might as well save this rental, because this team is honestly a lot of fun. Alright, on to game three. Let's see if we can keep the undefeated streak alive in this video. We haven't lost in a very, very long time. I want to see if we can keep it alive. Let's go. Definitely a different team. <laughs> definitely, definitely a different team, and a bunch of dark types on this team as well. So it might not be the time for Moltres, but you know what? Man, screw it. Why not, right? I also don't think it's not- it's, it's not a horrible matchup for Moltres. It's just not a phenomenal matchup for Moltres. Like, there are much better matchups in the world, but oh well. All these steel types are scaring me too. On their side of the field. Yeah, we're gonna go punchy friend here. We're gonna go Iron Hands in the back. We're gonna bring Moltres, bring the comfy, bring the Iron Hands in the far back, and see if maybe we can do some things here, right? We had a nice and quick game one, you know, it was a nice and booty game one. Let's see if we can have a nice and beautiful game too as well. This team's a little bit less competitive, but hey, we're here to have some fun too. Alright, Toxtricity plus the Gallade Sarah Ledge. Alright, I think this is a pretty simple turn for me. I have to go for the poison. Actually, if I go for poison, I'm not going to get my weakness policy proc. I think I outspeed Toxtricity, though. I'm feeling a little... a little exciting. I'm feeling... I'm feeling a little risky. I'm gonna hope that I outspeed. I think I do. I've seen the speed tier of this Moltres after that game one, and I kind of figure... Oh, this, they're going... they're going in, in, all the way, double in. 
Yikes, Electric Terra. They might just be like scarfed, aren't they? I hope they're not. They seem very confident about this turn right now. I have faith that Bruno gave speed to this Moltres. I have a lot of faith. Come on, Bruno. I believe in you. Come on, Bruno. You did it. Big Fiery Wrath. It actually doesn't knock out the Tox, though. Wow. A plus two Fiery Wrath doesn't knock the Tox. But it gets the flinch. <laughs> Ah, uh, I get all my luck in games like this, huh? All right, hello Garchomp. We're gonna switch over to Poison Terra now. Actually, yeah, I could do that. Switch over to Poison Terra now. Let's go for the kiss onto the chomp. Give a little bit of a mwah, and see if we get some nice damage. Nice little chip on it, though. That would be fun. That would be phenomenal. That'd be great. Fantastic. Bombastic. Side eye. Anyway, they're gonna swap out their Toxtricity. Gonna swap in their Supreme Overlord. Look at you. Well, I'm glad I could help. <laughs> I'm glad I could help you get some more Supreme Overlord there. All right, we decided to go for the Terrestrialization. Mainly because we didn't want to get rock slid it 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 well, let's see how much a Draining Kiss can do. Nice little chunk there to the Chomp. We love those. We outspeed the Chomp. Oh, I bet you regret putting any defense investment on that Chomp if you didn't. Right? That Chomp should not be underspeeding my Moltres. That's a... They must have max HP or something. Anyway, we're honestly in such a soft position. We just go for... Yeah, might as well go for the draining, uh, draining Kiss here. It's at least neutral damage. Why not? Again, I do think we got a little lucky this game. I'll be honest. I'll be honest. I do think I got a little lucky this game. That Toxtricity lead might have knocked my Moltres out. Because of how... Because we, we, we weren't able to get the KO. All right, Fiery Wrath will eventually knock out the Toxtricity. Thankfully, we do know our speed tiers with Toxtricity. And all that's left is a singular Supreme Overlord King Gambit that lost all of his friends. Iron Head now onto my Moltres. That's going to hurt actually a lot. But you know what hurts even more? My opponent's realization after they figure that I can just get all of my health back with Floral Healing. This is such a silly combination. And I love it because of how stupid it is. Floral healing and just like that, 47 HP to 143. I essentially gained 100 HP points here. Big fiery wrath. Bada bing, bada boom. Knocking out the King Gambit and taking a second dub for us in today's video. Let's keep the streak alive, folks. Can we continue? Can we not lose in this following one? Let's find out. On to the next. Titar Raichu, Gothitelle, Dragon Knight, and in Cinna Sports. Okay. Kind of a scary team. Kind of a very scary team. I'm not too concerned about fake out specifically because come fake out speeds fake out, so it's not it's not that big of a deal. I also do think that I could play the weather war with them with the nine tails. I wouldn't hate that, but it's also not necessary. I think right away what I want to do is I'm just gonna leave come fake and Moltres. I really only have the Raichu to worry about if they, uh, I guess the Raichu and the Titar, but we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. We'll be fine. Yeah, let me go Comfey. Let me go Moltres. We'll bring the Wellspring Ogrepon in the back, followed by the Arcanine, and we'll call it a game there. The biggest concern that I have is obviously that Titar. That Titar could really, really put a little damper in our plans here, but listen, where there's a flinch, there's a flinch, you know? And where there's a flinch, there's a chance. Where, the, where there's a chance, there's a chance. So it's possible that we can still come out of this game on top. Well, let's find out. Anyway, white hair, what you got? Raichu lead plus goth. I guess I'm stuck with my decisions. All right. Fair enough, fine enough. Whatever. What can we do about it? Nothing really. Uh, if they fake me out, then whatever. What if I click protect here? Oh, 
Oh, what if I just click taunt? Taunt seems fine. Go for a nice and simple turn one. They have a potential fake out here. I'm pretty sure they're gonna use it on the Moltres. Or that too. That also works, I guess. Oh, we don't like that actually. Let's see if this taunt meant, it, meant anything here. Oh, mental herb, so it might have. Skill swap. What is going on here? I think I'll be okay to nuzzle. I'm just going to go for the Fiery Wrath, and I'm going to go for the Draining Kiss, and I'm just going to do the thing that I'm intended to do here. They're actually going to swap out the Goth. All right, so I can now swap out myself is what that means. And they're going to go in with the Incineroar. Okay. Incin's on the field. Not that serious, honestly. We get the Draining Kiss off on our Moltres. Going to chip down our Moltres a little bit. Going to give us the Weakness Policy. Even though I think they were going to give it to us anyway with Nuzzle, it's fine just to guarantee it. They might decide to change their moves up a little bit here with the Raichu. Who knows? No, nah, they're just going for Nuzzle again. That's fine. This is still a lot of damage behind this Moltres if this Moltres can get going. Okay. Well, it can't because I'm paralyzed. Unfortunate. Well, I'm going to Poison Terror so I don't die to another uh, electric move. I'm going to go for the Fiery Wrath and I'm going to keep myself alive for as long as I have to. Floral Healing! I'll just be full HP, it's fine. I don't mind at all. Now I could let myself go down to half and I could get myself back up to a plus three thanks to Berserk. But again, I don't have to. So I, uh, why would I, you know? All right, Poison Terra Moltres. We are paralyzed, but we are plus two and now a poison type. All right, they fake out my Moltres. What is your game here? What is the accomplishment that you're having? I don't get it. I'm gonna fire your wrath again. Man, I'm, I'm gonna go for, for helping and why not? At this point, why not? <laughs> I might as well. Let's clap for our Moltres. Let's pr pray that we don't get, you know, parried. They're gonna fire off a Volt Switch now. Okay. Bye Raichu, this Raichu is frustrating me and I don't know why. Let's see what's coming in that wants to take a, uh... Actually, they did have a T-Tar. If they have a T-Tar in the far back, that might be a problem. Oh, Goth's coming in to take a Fiery Wrath. Well, good luck with that one. All right, gonna knock off my poor Comfy. I don't even know what item I have. Bruno, what you put on this thing? Cover Cloak, okay, well, that is important. That's the second time I got paired, bruh. Come on, game. All right, I, I don't want to lose my Moltres, so I'm gonna go for the floor healing again. This is my Comfy is not getting paired at all. I would just like to attack with the stats that I have, please. Moltres, come on. I'm gonna skill swap my triage, that's not fun. But now you're shadow tagged in. Well, at least I know you guys are staying on the field. Flare Blood's gonna knock me down to my... To my Berserk here. I finally get my Fiery Wrath off. Thank you, game. Big damage. Even onto the instant, that hurt a lot. Okay. Not too shabby. Not bad. We like that. We're fans. Um, I might have to switch this Moltres out though, because that's stupid Flare Blitz. Oh, they do have a T-Tar. Yeah, well now I definitely switch this Moltres out. What am I supposed to do to a T-Tar here? Yeah, let's get this Intimidate. I guess just a little smooch on Instant's face would, n would never hurt anybody, you know? Just give Instant a little bit of a smooch. A little bit of a mwah. Alright, Hasui and Arcanine versus Instant. Which is the which is the superior intimidator? Which is it? No one knows yet because the game hasn't technically officially started yet with regulation F. But I'm gonna say it's a su no, it's a oh.
Brotherhood D dance, okay. That was not in my bingo card. Um. I have options here, I think. It's primarily this one. Yeah, let's stop T-Tar from doing that ever again. <laughs> Honestly, let's throw everything at this T-Tar now. T-Tar went for Dragon Dance once, and now we are so fearful. Ghost Terra, thankfully. That's good news for us, because now they just lost the super... the special defense boost from the sand. And now they're going to take sand damage. They're going for the helping hand. Rock Slide? Oh, that knocked me out. Wow. They outsped me, which is another thing I didn't expect. Okay, this might be a problem. That Dragon Dance might be a huge, big ol' issue. Maybe not. Let's have faith. That did suck for our Arcanine, I'm not gonna lie. That did way too much damage to Arcanine, but... We still got our Ogre Pond here. Who, in theory, can outspeed. And I think we go for the Helping Hand Boosted Ivy Cudgel. We need to throw everything into this T-Tar. Who thankfully can't protect right now. Oh, they're also Helping Hand. Oh, this is- this is spicy! They still outspeed, dude?! World's fastest T-Tar! It's only a plus one! It had to be Max Speed Jolly, which means- which, This means my Ivy Cudgel should knock it out, right? Wow. Wow. Why? Why are you so fast? Is there even a wind condition anymore? A rock slide miss, I guess. I'm gonna spiky shield and I'm gonna protect, like... I gotta let the sand ship take it down a little bit and I hope the rock slides miss. I, I don't know what other option I have right now, because this is- this is a problem! This Ghost Terra T-Tar is like really, really giving us some issues here. And then we still have a whole Raichu to burn through. I don't even know how I'm gonna get through that thing. All right, Rock Slide's going to the double protect here. Gonna get some more Sand Chip on their side. Again, I guess we hope for misses. I could go for double protects. But even that's not enough to knock it out, so. Yeah, let's hope for some misses. That's all I got for me. That's all that's the only hope I got right now for this game. Hold up! Ogre Pond dodges. Okay, that's something. The problem is the Raichu probably beats the Ogre Pond in the end game. If I had to guess. I think I would much rather have the Moltres live there. Or the Moltres dodging it. That might have been fine. Oh well. We'll see. We'll see how well we deal with this Raichu. Oh, and Sandstorm subsides, so the Ensign, uh, gets to live. Alright, here comes Raichu. I, I, I'm always gonna go for a Spiky Shield here. The only issue is I think they might have Encore. And if they do, then GG, they deserve this game. They've earned it. They definitely have earned it. Man, if only they get paired seven turns in a row. Alright, there's a Fake Out. If they had a Sash, we just broke it. Does the instant also attack and, and die? Neat! Okay, thanks! They just waltzed into that! Okay, we might still have a chance if their only attacking move is Volt Switch. Don't get me wrong, Volt Switch might still knock us out here. But we need faith, we have to have faith. Yeah, it's Ivy Cudgel. 
All right, let's go for it. Oh, they have discharge. I think I die. It crits me. Come on, man. Ah, oh, this game was a good game though. Kudos to my opponent. They ended my undefeated streak here on Pokey Sports for a very long time. It's a, it's only a matter of time before we lost. But hey, it is what it is. Gonna take home a loss in today's video. A little unlucky with this, with those Paris there. A little unlucky there at the end with the crit. But I, I don't know if that crit discharge really mattered that much. Um, and boy, was that T-Tar like incredibly fast, like faster than I expected. They, they must have been max speed. That's the only like answer to that question. Anyways, taking home a loss. See if we end off with a win though. Up against Jesus, rocking the ooh Venucol, Venucol Instant. All right, I I see I see promise here. It's definitely not gonna be an easy matchup for us, and we're definitely gonna need to bring Nine Tails somewhere here. I'm gonna try to bring it in the back. Yeah, wow, this is not gonna be an easy matchup at all. I I definitely don't think I need Ogre Pond. It would be nice for like. Just the Ensign, but they're going to be in the sun the majority of the times. So I should just bring my... My doggo here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring Moltres. I'm going to bring Comfy in the lead. I'm going to go with the Arcanine in the back. And I think last but not least has to be the Ninetales. To just mess the weather up on them, right? They have... they. I mean, they do have Whimsicott. They do have Torkoal. They have multiple ways of getting the sun back up, right? I dropped my Joy-Con. They have multiple ways of getting the sun back up. But the fact that I can force them to do that instead of attacking is what's going to make the difference in this game with this Ninetales. I also want to make sure I pressure them a lot with that Aurora Veil if I am able to get it up. My opponent is thinking about their decisions here. Okay. We also don't know if that's a Watersh or a Dersh. I'm pretty sure it looks like a Watersh just to complete the Grass Water Fire Core. But again, it'll be a Sun Team with a Watersh on it. So that's counterintuitive as well. It can go either way. We can make arguments for both. All right, Vino Cole starting the day. No way, never seen this before. No way, no how. Okay, I'll tell you what. We fiery wrath, and we just bring in nine tails. We keep this nice and simple. We Fiery Wrath, we go for some flinch chances, we lower some health bars. It's not going to do like an incredible amount of damage, but it'll still hurt. And any amount of damage on a Torkoal is less damage on an Eruption. So that sounds like a very good time for us. That's if the Torkoal does decide to stay on the field here. They probably predicted me to go for a Ninetales lead and that's why they're doing what they're doing. The thing is, if they do swap out Torkoal here, that gives me the opportunity to like maybe get an Aurora Veil up. Or if they keep it in, that's even better. Then I definitely get the Aurora Veil opportunity here. All right, Comfy's leaving. And Ninetales is entering. Let's get this Snow Warning up. They're going to Terrastalize right away, actually. Okay. Well, I went for a neutral hit on both Mons, so I don't know if this actually matters in the slightest. No, nah, not at all. Cool. I guess maybe expecting me to go for a flying type move there. But no, I was I was mainly just targeting the uh the the sun. Oh, they just sludge bomb my Moltres. Oh, they get the poison too though. That's annoying. Okay, well, fiery wrath still went through. Great damage onto the Venusaur, not going to complain about it. Ah, oh, and I'm just above Berserk too. So awkward. Oh, at least since I got poison, I can't go to sleep. It's the only good news here. I'm actually going to Nasty Plot. No, I'm not going to Nasty Plot. I'm going to try to get some damage on Torque, even though Torque was swapping out. All right, I'll Fire Breath. And then just go for the Aurora Veil here. They don't swap the Torkoal? They're just going to let me hit it? That's surprising. I'm not I'm not sad about that. The Sleep Powder. Yeah, that's a Sleep Powder, all right. Dodging, baby. And even more damage off on this Venu. We take those. Torkoal gets the flinch. Yes. Oh, okay. All part of my master plan. I concocted that all in my brain. Yeah, the fact that they're not switching is going to end up being the... Uh, did I not get Berserk for the poison? Did I just miss it? 
Oh, apparently you don't get berserk for the poison. That's a little whack. Well, I guess I'm nasty plotting again. Not nasty plotting, uh... Just going for the fiery wrath. And then at the end, I'll just finish this Venusaur off while I get this opportunity. They're finally gonna swap out the Torkoal here. But I think I should be able to knock out the... Oh, they do have a water Shifu. And the Venu protects. Okay. Yeah, they want to lock in their weather. Oh, if that Moonblast went into the water, that, that's what would have been a really good play. All right. If the Torkoal swaps back in, the Venusaur will outspeed. I just don't think the Torkoal will swap back in on that Venus spot. It'll have to be on this this Earth spot. And the Venusaur is definitely going to attack into my Ninetales, so I'm just going to click Protect. I just fire off another Fiery Wrath. The Venusaur can't put my Moltres to sleep. It can knock out my Moltres if they do the Torkoal swap back. I actually just realized... Okay, they're going to keep the Ursh in and just detect? They really must not like my Ninetales. Hey, free damage. Ooh, okay. How much How much am I going to do here to the Venusaur? Oh, very low. Ooh, I can maybe manipulate the speeds here. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Big Brain, Big Brain is a churning. I just Air Slash to watch. Actually, I don't even have to manipulate the speeds here. I just have to go for a Moonblast plus uh, an Air Slash, right? Oh, but then I'm not attacking the Venusaur. Oh, let's see what happens. I think one singular Moonblast might be enough to knock out the Waters, but I, I honestly have no idea. I should have Icy Winded. Oh, I was thinking about Icy Winding and then going for... Oh, they went for the double and they got it. Okay, well, good for you. Oh, wait, no, they didn't. Did they? No, they didn't protect last turn. No, oh, it doesn't matter. Well, we knocked it out in one turn. Nice! Okay, so the Torgo's probably coming back to the field. That would be my guess. Which, hey, would suck. Oh, my snow just straight up stopped there, too. The thing here is, though, the Venusaur can really only attack one Pokemon, right? That's how Venusaur work. So they, the Venusaur has a decision to make. Either it's going to attack my Ninetales or sleep my Ninetales, or it's going to attack my Moltres and knock my Moltres. Either way, I'm in a better position than before. So I'm going to go for the Fiery Wrath here. I'm going to go for the Icy Wind here. Now, if I really wanted to keep my Ninetales alive, I could Terrastalize it right now, but I honestly don't think I have to. I'm going to hold my Terror for as long as I have to. They wasted theirs turn one. That's their decision. That's their prerogative. I don't even know if I use that in the right context. Okay, so they did decide to knock out the Moltres. In my brain, that was the one I wanted to happen the least. But hey, it is what it is. I'm gonna get this nice speed drop here. I'm sure this will help and also just knock out the Venusaur straight up. They're down to their final two Mons. And even though one of their Mons is a Torkoal, this Torkoal has no Trick Room option on that team. So it's not like this Torkoal is gonna be a problem for us. We'll just outspeed it, especially now that it's a negative one. Oh. Why? You could have just gone, ooh, and then all of my Pokemon would be dead. This gives me more opportunity now. I thought I was going to have to double swap into my mods in the back, but no. Yeah, we go into the dog. Fluttermane's here now. Welcome. Welcome, Fluter. All right, this intimidate doesn't matter at all. I just pretty much have to go for a rock side, right? I'm also worried about, like... And Earth Power coming out of this Torque, but they just showed me Will O Wisp. I'm just gonna rock slide then. And then Icy Wind here. That's okay. I'm mainly going for the Torkoal this 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 turn, just because the Torkoal has the thing that can kill me. Potentially. Alright, second Icy Wind here on the Torkoal. Gotta get as much chip as we possibly can. We take what we can get here. Speed's gonna drop again. Rock slide. Gonna hit the flutter spot. Does it hit the Torkoal? 
It does hit the Torkoal. Big damage onto Torkoal. Not enough to knock, but still enough to do a lot of damage and get the second flinch this game. Okay, Kevin Luck wants us to win this last battle, that's for sure. Oh, uh, all right. Sit nice and pretty again. I think I'm just going to keep doing the same spread moves. Doesn't even matter. We're taking a final dub here in this video. Super lucky against Jesus here, but hey, it is what it is. GG's Jesus. Thank you so much, Bruno, for posting this rental code and making a Moltres and Comfy team. The first that I've seen in Regulation F. And it's honestly a fun, fun time to use it. We did, unfortunately, get a loss in today's video. Say what you want about that game. It was a wild one. But we were able to get three wins also with this team. So not too shabby, if I do say so myself. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching all the way to the very end. Have yourselves a fantastic rest of your evening. And thank you for supporting Pokesports in the DLC. Anyway, I'm Kevin's Pokesports. Have a great evening. Peace out and bye-bye.